Hi, this is Dr. Tim Hartman, and this is the Modern Earnings Minute. Uh, if you enjoy our content, please subscribe to this channel and like the videos that you enjoy. And here it's now time for the Modern Earnings Minute. All right, so it is week four of the COVID-19 shutdown here in New York. So like last week, I decided to interrupt the normally scheduled Modern Arnie's Minutes uh, with some stuff that we can do on our own. Um, so I'm gonna continue that theme. So today we're gonna go over something real easy, uh, the angles of attack. So we have a different approach inside the World Modern Arnie's Alliance uh, in our Price to program. So when I first started, I learned a 12 angle system. When I did the lint walk, I learned a different 12 angle system. It was the same, but a different sequence. I hung out with people who do Cinco Terras, which is a five angle system. Uh, after doing Combaton, there was a 12, 14, and 24 angle system. And I've heard there's some even systems up there to 64. I know probably eight different systems of counting and uh, it can be a little daunting at times. So what we did for beginners is um, we took out the non-essentials. We keep it real simple. Uh, we do an eight angle system for, for the beginners. And then later we teach more. Um, so what today I'm gonna do is go over the eight basic angles of attack with the footwork. And then I'm gonna go over the first five angles of our thrusting system. Okay, so now it's time for our Modern Arnie's Minutes. Okay, so let's go over the angles of attack. So right now, like I said, when I teach beginners, I teach an eight angle system. So originally I was taught 12. I got rid of four of the attacks for beginners. Um, they're unique thrust stabs that are more for advanced players and a lot of times the beginners just it wasn't processing why would we do this. When I show them the example of where we would do it in that context, it made a lot of sense to them. But if we're talking just teaching people for what they need, the eight angles is gonna cover it. 1% um, of the population does martial artists. Stick fighters or Filipino martial artists are 1% of that. The quick math is that we're one in 10,000. I train for the 99 percentile first because a lot of people come to me for self-defense and self-defense is not stick fighting. It's fighting or defending yourself against someone who may have a stick, may have a baseball bat, may have a lot of different things, but we don't walk around with sticks strapped to our back and um, to go deal with this stuff. So I deal with that approach first. Now, here are the angles um, and why I'm gonna do it right-handed and I'm gonna do it left-handed. So it'll look backwards to you. So my right hand, which is gonna be your left side, um, I start, it's high, middle, low. All the angles, except for the center line attacks, there's a forehand and backhand version. So when we do the counting, all the odds will be on the forehand, all the evens will be on the back of the pairs, and then there's a center line attacks, and those will be on the side that the hand's on. So doing this, actually I'll do it left-handed, so it'll be your right. So we'll start off here like this, I will step forward, I usually cut a diagonal, we can get into that uh, later. There's the angle number one. Now I'm gonna do the backhand version. There's the angle number two, which forms an X. So three and four is the horizontal. So these are the lines that are on the plus, all right? Five and six is the low X or V. Then my first overhead is a, is, or first center line is the overhead. There's the seven. And then I throw in one stab for good measure. Now, most likely someone's not gonna stab with an impact tool, but it gets you prepared to be able to see these lines of attack and see these uh, feeds when they're coming in with edge weapons such as uh, knives, daggers, etc. So let's do that again. So it's one, two, which generally I aim at the shoulders. It's 
three, four. That's usually the waist. Five, six. Usually the knees. Seven, overhead. And then eight is the thrust, the first of the thrusts. Um, I'm going to do this right handed, so we always want to do things right and left handed. So I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when we do these, I give a body part for memorization, but an angle is an angle, it's not a target. So one and two, even though I teach this to the shoulders, could easily be the head. Can be all the way up and down your body. Three and four, I assign it to the belt on the learning phase, but I could easily hit someone in the head, the neck, the ankles if I'm in a kneeling position. It's all the same thing. People say, well, isn't five and six the same as one and two? You are right. Um, I don't teach it off for the offensive level. I teach it for the defense, because I should do every angle of attack up and down the body. I should do one and two to the head, one and two to the waist, one and two to the knee, three and four, the same thing. So what is really gonna make the difference is when I'm defending. So the block for the high and the middle are pretty much the same, but for defense against the leg attack is significantly different. Same concept, but there's a lot more dynamics going on. So I make sure that the partner learns how to defend against the leg shot. Um, and work those things. What it also does is a lot of people don't think about hitting the leg. They think, mm, Mungo smash. And they want to do whack-a-mole and hit you in the head. So we want to have diversity with all the strikes. So remember, these are angles of attack, which when Professor Prices first taught me, each angle was given a body part for memorization. Uh, and then in, in further ones, we were also given disarms and they were to each angle of attack for memorization. Now, remember, this is the basic eight. It's a stripped down leaner version for beginners. I said, high, middle, and low. Someone's gonna hit you on the right side of your body, so you hit on your left side, the front or overhead. Whether it's high, middle, or low, that's the difference. And these eight system, these ang this eight angle approach works great for beginners um, and it's quick to memorize. High, middle, low forehand, backhand. Okay, that'll wrap up the angles of attack from here. And now we're to go into the thrusting system. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the thrust. Now, what I do here, this is all the stuff the professor taught, but he had a different delivery system. So I'm not teaching anything new. I might just be doing a twist on what was already done. I mean, there's only so many ways to throw a punch, only so many ways to throw a stick, or uh, throw a kick, only so many ways to swing a stick. Now, um, I'm using an extra large stick for visual, uh, but um, with a larger stick, I actually have a larger puño than I normally would have uh, because it's bigger, thicker, heavier, and I have to offset that. Um, normally, I would only do one or two fingers worth of puño, but I'd also have a smaller stick. When I have a longer, taller stick, the longer the stick, the more the puño, and I can also use that for hooking, choking, etc. Now, we'll do the thrusts. So, I'm going to just do the first five thrusts. Now, we already did the first thrust. That was the stab. That was the first of the thrusting system. So, in our system, I teach at the very beginning for your first belt, you learn the basic eight angles of attack. Uh, so, it'll have the seven strikes and one of the thrusts. Later, we do the angles and direction, and I do an asterisk where it's angles one and two, three and four, now we reverse the angle, five, six, seven, eight, and a center strike towards the middle. Well, I take, so it's a nine, a nine point star, eight points around the middle, one in the middle, or around the end, one in the middle. Now we're gonna do the thrusting. So there's nine thrusts. I'm not gonna do all the different thrusts today. I'm just gonna keep it simple here. I'm gonna go real basic, so the first one we do is straight out. We already did that one, number one. Now what I'm gonna do is a, a four, a straight palm down thrust like you're doing a ridge hand. Now the other one is palm up. Now I might do a block check and then come in from there. So when you see it initially, you're like, well, why would I come from this position? Well, if I did something else, if I came from a previous strike, who knows? Um, so one, palm down, two, palm up, three. Now. 
follow through or not, they go straight. Now I'm gonna teach you the hook punch version. That'll give you four and five. So I come this way, this is angle four, and this is angle five. Now this is done in a follow through method. Any angle can be done follow through. So if I'm just doing a hit at, I hit and come back. If I do follow through, I swing all the way, I poke all the way through. Same thing with a number uh, two or three, or in modern Arnis it was six or seven or 10 or 11. The follow through would be all the way through versus a quick poke, hit all the way through. Doing it this way is not those two angles. It is not this angle and this angle done with a follow through. Because this angle is straight. This angle is sideways, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna change tools here. I'm gonna use a blade. Now with the blade, we change a little dynamic here. So I go one and I twist. Anytime I go, a blade is in the target, you twist the blade, you rotate this to one, create more damage. Two, enlarge the wound to free up the weapon. Three, defeat a block or a grab. Now when I'm dealing with a knife and someone blocks, I can rotate. Obviously with a long weapon like this, and yes, it is a dull trainer, um, it would be a little different. So I go one, I twist out and rotate. Two, twist and rotate. Three, twist and rotate. Four, here and rotate. Five, rotate. Now. The thing we gotta remember is, and I'll do it left-handed first, one, two, three, four, and five. What we have to remember here is that if I use a stick, that's an impact weapon. The ultimate use of a stick is to break bones. When I use an edge weapon, the ultimate use is to cut flesh, cut or stab flesh. I can hit anywhere. Now, if I hit the leg with the stick, now what happens is it starts to spasm or charlie horse the person goes down so i have an i like the stick work because using the stick i have a non-lethal application i can use whereas with the blade it's lethal so but i like showing the blade because it, a lot of times it teaches the hand or the stick on different paths so once again let's do this left hand which will be your right so we'll go one twist two twist three twist, four twist, five twist. And when we're doing all these, what you want to do is make sure you're not hitting a bone target. So if I thrust, I wouldn't thrust into the rib cage because the weapon would get stuck if I'm using edge weapon. But if I'm using an impact weapon, I can go anywhere in the body. Obviously, if I hit here, I have a much more dramatic response than what I hit here. The results are definitely different. So, um, which is why I like, you know, our system, Professor Prasis' father taught the girls during World War II. The girls were using edge weapons. He decided after World War II to teach the art to share it, to be compassionate and use impact tools instead of edge weapons, which means he could choose to do things like hitting muscle regions to cause people to have charley horses, hitting different reasons, areas that are not as life-threatening. But when you use an edge weapon, and I'm not, I love doing edge weapon training, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but I prefer the versatility of that impact tool. Um, and that's why when I take a walking stick, it's the same thing. So let's review everything. Angles of attack, basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thrusting system, just the first five thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it right-handed. Angles of attack, one, aim it at the shoulders, and two. Three, aim at the waist, and this is for the learning targets, okay? Knees for five and six. Seven comes down in the head. Eight is that poke to the belly. Thrusting set. Poke to the belly. Poke anywhere, but the shoulder works good. Poke the shoulder there. Hook punch to the body. This could be into the body or the head. And this could be the same in here this way. 
All right. Once again, I know everyone's going batty being locked up with the with this pandemic. Uh, we do what we can. Hopefully, this will take your mind off some things, give you something to work out, get a little of that energy that's sitting around. And if you're just sitting around eating potatoes and watching TV all the time, this will hopefully give you that motivation to get up and do something. Uh, I love doing Filipino martial arts because, you know, if you have something to hit, there's your anger management. All right. Everyone stay safe out there. And thank you for uh, watching. And these were your Modern Arnie's Minutes.